Continuing along with the uh, Chris Cornell efforts here, R.I.P. Chris, thank you for your voice. <clears throat> Say hello to heaven. Uh, I believe Ashley suggested this. Good suggestion, Ashley. Thank you. Um, here we go. There are four parts to this song, and this one might take a little while. It's a little confusing and a little nuanced, but here we go. Okay, the very intro, the signature thing that, that you hear, and you know it's Say Hello to Heaven. We got uh, a D string, third fret, B string, third fret, and baby E string, third fret. Now, I like to use my second finger, my third finger, and my pinky finger and leave my pointer finger available for the next move, but you try it, you know, how, whichever three fingers you like. Here we go. So we're going to pluck just uh, the D string. That wasn't right. We're going to pluck the D string. B, E, D, B, E. And then the D string becomes two instead of three, so that's what our pointer finger was for. And the same plucking. D, B, E, D, B, E. Then we're on to the A string first fret. Now the pinky finger leaves, so we have A string first fret, B string third fret, and we're gonna pluck A, G, B, E, B, G and then remove the pointer finger and do the same plucking. And that was the first half of the verse. I'll do that again, a little slow, but I won't say anything this time. First half of the intro. Second half of the intro starts with the uh, middle finger on the A string third fret. And then we got B3, baby E3 again, just like the first move, except we're not on the D string, we're on the A string. So now it's. No, I can't. Oh, yeah. A, B, E, A, B, E. A string becomes second fret. Now we switch to. one where the pinky finger's off, so it was A, G, B, E, open E, B, G, pointer finger to E string, first fret, E, G, E, E, G, E, open E, same plucking there. I'll do that without speaking. part two different ways. You figure out which way is right. <laughs> it's your job. All right, then we kick in with the really cool It's an F chord. So we have our pointer finger on E1 and B1, and we have ring middle finger on G2 and ring finger on D3. Move that up. One, two, three frets. And move it down one. So we're playing an F, right? That's an F. We're playing a G sharp, that's on the fourth, fifth, and sixth frets. We're playing a G. And then we're into verse. Oh, I have the lyrics here because you can kind of get lost in this one. That's half the song. Half the song. We did it. Minus the solo. If anyone wants to learn the solo, we can totally do this one. Leave it in the comments. We'll do it if you want. But if you don't want to, then we won't and everybody's happy. All right. So uh, here we go. The verse is actually a pretty simple chord progression, but the plucking is sort of fun. So we're going to go G. Please, Mother Mercy. A minor. C. E minor, followed by, did you write that down? Followed by G, A minor, C, F. So here's the plucking. You're gonna start with the lowest note of the chord. So for G, it's the E string. 
For A minor, it's the A string. For C, it's the A string. And for E, it's the low E string. So we're going to go for the G chord. We're going to pluck down the first three fat ones. And then we're going to pluck up the three thin ones. Please, mother. A string. So we start on the A chord. So we start on the A string. Mercy. So the pattern was the same. We started on the fattest one of the chord, and we plucked down three, so A, D, G, and then we pluck up E, B, G, so G gets double duty there, but the pattern is the same. <laughs> Time stopped there for a second. C, take me from this place and alone. I always thought it was kisses. Keep healing my hand. Now the cool thing that they do on the F chord that you'll notice, and it doesn't happen every time, but it happens sometimes. Strum the F. Pull off the B string from one to zero. Then pull off the G string from two to zero. There's our plucked D string. D open, so. Words never listen. And teachers, oh, they never learn. I always thought that lyric was genius when I was like 12. Uh, but I'm warm. The candle, though I feel too cold to burn. Here's the thing. And then we do the second half of the intro for this part. He came from an island. So starting on the on the A string third fret, this is the second half of the intro. He came from an island, but he died. From the street, and then we go G, G, and he hurt so bad like a B flat. Everybody know how to play B flat? This is where everyone stops practicing guitar. So A string first fret, and then your ring finger or your pinky finger, depending if you're playing an acoustic, it's really hard to use your pinky finger for this, but on an electric, not so much. But your finger is supposed to get D, G, B, third fret, all by itself. Some people go like this. That's a great way to sort of start, but it's, it's slower to get to. So I'm using all three fingers. Or you can just do a B flat power chord, which is just A1, D3, G3. Yeah. And he hurt so bad like a soul breaking, but he aim on her nothing to see. Oh, this is the fourth part. G, D, the pinky, C. Do our little inter thingy. That's my word. F G sharp. Back to the verse. A minor. C. E minor. G. A minor. C. But and those are the parts for "Say Hello to Heaven," except for. Except for the very last, um, the very last time it goes B C. It's a little idiosyncrasy, and the reason why my kids never uh, do Pearl Jam E songs. There's always that one little thing that you just gotta remember, and oh man. So G B flat. B, C. 
pretty sure that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna go check after I turn this off. And if it's not it, I'll make an addendum, an appendix. How come appendix is a body part, but addendum is not? What's the one where you, where it used to like catch the sticks and the rocks and we don't need an appendix? Oh, that's a book thing too. How come we don't have an addendum? We have a duodenum and there's diplodocus. Say hello to heaven. I hope that was helpful. Goodbye.